so we have our, our sent him cream climbing up our stairs. Oh, he just went over there. I think he's gonna climb up the stairs. Okay, so I'm gonna go try to find the crane. We thought it went up on our steps, but I, we can't see it. I don't see it. There it is. We're on the third floor. Let's walk back down. Oh, focus camera. So there's our pool. There it goes. It's walking back out. <laughs> and then we saw more dolphins out here. Okay, so we're heading to um, a fort. It's called Fort Morgan. And we have entered into the beginning of it. Entered into the beginning? What? Okay. And so I don't, I think we're gonna go walk around. And I, I, all of these guys, I think most of them have been here, but except me and Caleb. I think. And me. And Grace. So, um, I think we're gonna go walk around. I'll show you more. So let's get the screen. So here we are. We made it to the thing. This is a little flower thing. We turn out this. We do I guess. Like for us. Like this. Here's the actual. That's how big the fort is. I think. It's like, you know, stuff. Okay. Yeah. So we are gonna go walk around. Oh, there's a little bit of Oh, we have to sign in. There's a cannon from a ship, I think. I don't know. We have more stuff about these people. No idea. Oh, wow. Look at that. Mississippi Red. That's cool. Non commissioned officer sword. Yeah, so it wasn't used. I'm not sure. It's probably an officer. An officer that wasn't in war. More care and stuff. So that. Rick. Oh wow, look at that. So now we're all this stuff. So this is probably gonna be a long vlog. Show all this. It's cool. Pocket knife. Left behind. That's cool. Did you see their shoulder patches? Oh, look at their old handwriting. I think that's so awesome. What? No, don't focus on the glass. There you go. All these, sorry for the reflection. But if you want to read anything, you can stop the video if you feel like it. This man, this, this gun, this is a fragment of a 32 pound seacoast gun, it's like a, a um, cannon that uh -huh. blew up and decapitated him. <coughs> and so these are all the pieces that are left of him. Like there's some of his dangerous Oh my word. One of his fellow officers found those things and wrapped them up in that little piece of paper and sent them to his wife. Good grief. The dead man's blew wife. up. Yeah. But so that is his denture up there? I suppose. 
that's his well, it's, Or it's maybe like yeah, a... that's how that cannon fell over. Well, it's got teeth on it, so it's yeah. like dentures. Yeah. That's interesting. Look at their handwriting. I know, isn't that cool? It's sad so though, because if he moved, he... That's his wife and child. So there he is, and his wife and child. So here's some like old pictures. Soldiers. It's very interesting. Look at that. It's so interesting. It's a knife. A gun. And a gas mask. Yeah, a gas mask. Ooh. What's this? Dinner horn. This is the dinner horn. I think that's a belt buckle. Oh, oh, I thought that was a beagle. It might be. It's a den or, or like dinner horn. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh. I like the blue one better. Those t shirts look comfy. See, they look like an officer body. Look at their awful hats, though. I'm so glad they were biased on helmets. Josh, you're not scaring me. Perfect free. You should get this for your house. Yeah, I know. 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 And here is a gift shop. I'm not sure if we're going to. No. Do you buy anything? I doubt it, but you know. So I think we're gonna Ooh, head out to the outside that and go see cool. the actual fort now. So, yeah. Okay, so we are going to go into there. And there's some more signs here. Everybody's eager to go in and <laughs> see the deep, dark tunnel. But I think this is really cool to see history. I mean, because this is our history. This is part of America's history. Really cool. So let's go see it. Yeah. And here, look how cool this is. Now, okay, so I don't know much about this fort, so yeah, I'm still learning. Fort Morgan. It is about 1888, does it say? Yeah. So now we are inside the actual fort place. Oh, that? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at this. My camera won't be able to capture. I'm going to try to move slow so you can see. I'm going to try to keep up with everybody while taking pictures. I'm going to take a picture with my phone, though. So I'm going to try to move slow, like I said, because I don't want to make you guys sick. We have that. Wow, this is so cool. Okay, so like this ring right here. This is what where a can blah, blah. this is where a cannon would have sat to look out that. And I think it's been blocked up. <laughs> See out into the yard. So I'm gonna go over here because I'm way behind everybody else. So you can see out into the fan. <laughs> oh, okay. So here, this is showing, like I said, that circle right here in the cannon. So that's what it would have looked like. I'm trying to make so you can see. That's interesting. And they have a little fireplace over there, a table and bunks. And I'd be left behind. So, oh, dude, it's dark. I'll turn on my light. Just a minute. Oh, uh, it's over there. See, still see out into the fort. Dude, look at this. Dude, my light is not even hardly making any. Yeah, I know. Oh, there your light is. But this room is 
really big as a dirt floor. What would this would have been used for? Um, oh yeah, barracks. So as you can see, there's salt up on the ceiling. That's where we came from see, over there. See these little pass throughs here? They used it to pass like ammunition and stuff. Oh yeah. So this right here is a pass through currently. Wow, look at like the animal, the doorway is or, like maybe, I don't know. Unless maybe they would if and there was a quarantine. Was also used, no, it was also used for maybe. ventilation um, yeah. to keep the ammunition dry. Oh so, yeah. Oh, was that a munitions bag? It could have been. Assuming. Wow, look how tall these stairs are. I know. Should I take a video of you going up? Yeah. Uh, dude, you have to like, get up to my knees. They're big right. boy stairs. <laughs> dude, I better run up these. Where do those stairs go? Grief. I guess if you were a soldier, you would have been tall enough, I guess. Oh, no, I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this would have held a cannon. So here's more cannon. So I'm assuming two cannons, two cannons in that. I'm not real sure what that is, actually. Oh, turret, okay, I see. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense. So this is a turret, like Caleb said, which would have shot out over the ocean. So Just like the cannons, they would have shot out that way, but this one was a 360 one. It could shoot anyway. So really cool. So here's another cannon, like, spot in the turret. And we were way over on that side when I last video. We walked around. So, but I've kind of videoed all this, so it'll be repetitive, but I just wanted to give a little update. So, more turret stuff. Wow, that is cool. So here, All this is a dry moat, right here. You can see the dry moat better when you're over there. Yeah, so when we get over there, we'll show you there. But like, that's how. And yep. that? It's pretty that's cool over there. Right? And you can this is a massive, a massive cannon. Hopefully you can hear me. But it should be a massive cannon on scaffolding to look out of the So shoot over. But that's really cool. Look how huge it is. Right here, and that was right over there. So, I think that's good. It took 85 men, men to, to fire 40. 18 officers. Wow. 85. <gasps> oh my goodness. 80, 84, 84 enlisted men with an in addition to 18 officers. So huge. <laughs> oh, hold it. Okay. Whoa, okay. heavy. Oh, cool. That's what the cannons were open, actually, I think. Yeah, I think it like hurt. Yeah. Another cannon spot, the one that was on the scaffolding. It took 84 men and 18 officers to fire it, I think. I don't think we're saying. <laughs> if you read that, you'll know. So this is where they used to pull up the ammunition for those big guns. Pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to catch up. So here's one of the cannons, like I was talking about. And you can go down these steps. Into here. So this is an ammunition thing, right? So they would have ammunition down here. So this is one huge room. It's warm in here actually. It's really cold outside, but it's warm. Wow, look at this. So In here, there's oh yeah. So this is probably and the kitchen. This is the one of the. That have been the chimney. Oh. Holy oh. Now that was probably where they pulled up the ammunition too. No, this one. I, think this I feel like this is a kitchen, right. but I don't kitchen. know. Where they have the fireplace and stuff. That's Another room. So I'm not quite sure. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. Stuff. That was police. <sighs> police to so police stuff. Like that's a big one. Ooh. That wall wasn't there originally. Look at these huge doors though. Look at that. Now we're headed outside. So we finished up with that. 
and now we're gonna do more exploring over here. So this would have been where they do take the cannons, I'm pretty sure. Or, or yeah, ammunition, whatever heavy onto this. So yeah, the huge cannons like right over this. It didn't. Yeah. So this, if you want to raid this, you can pause it. Nope. But this room has, I think, has had nothing pause. touched. So like they haven't renovated it all. So all the little um, rust on the ceiling is those traps we used to carry stuff. And there's the huge. Okay, I get it. Um, Okay, so what they would do is really cool. Wow, look at this. Can you imagine, like, if you're firing, like, you can hear how echoey it is for me in here, but, like, with guns going off, how echoey it would have been. Wow, insane. Some more cannon places, like, the little curves. Oh, what's that? Is that a... And we couldn't figure out if it was locked up. Yeah, it's locked up. Maybe it went down. Because we were wondering what it was for. Maybe it was like um, we were a wondering bomb if maybe shelter. They have tunnels around. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because it kind of angles down. Because most forts would have underground tunnels. It levels off here, so it would have been like a small thing. <laughs> well, unless it was going down. Yeah, it might have been tunnels along. just running from room to room. It could have started going down right here. Well, like that's that's yeah. insane. How long? Oh my goodness, this is so crazy! See how many cannons there would have been along here? Wow. Look at these hinges, look how huge that is. Look at that, it's so, so cool. Goes outside, the outside. Huge wall. So I think this was the original, and they renovated this, I'm pretty sure. So like that's part of the new thing. But um, so they were still, that's renovated during the war, I think. I, so this definitely old, but newer than like that. Yeah. More cannon places, and I'm pretty sure these are fireplaces. Probably to keep them warm, I'm assuming. Um, but not positive about that. Oh, really? Oh, true, yeah, true, yeah. Yeah, when we said it went down, it was just blocked off. There was an entrance like this. That's cool. So here's outside, on the outside part. So this is cool. So as you can see, this is the outside, like I said earlier, I just said just now. But, ah, ooh, ee, it's really muddy. My socks are wet. If you come up here, then it's not coming. Well, these, I think, are the open holes. Oh, yeah, there's the inside. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that we made. Those stairs. Pretty cool. Here is one of the cannons. Ooh, Johnny. Yeah. So this is an ordnance storage. So we're gonna look into here. So this is where they would use store cannons when they were Whoa. not being used. Oh wow! There is a oop. There's Let a rolling me. cannon. That's so cool. It's got a cannonball. Cannonball. There's a chest right here. So this building here used to be in the middle of all of this and it got burned down. So you can stop and read if you feel like it. So this little house thing is where the wives or um, if you want to read it you can know more about it but uh, you just read it. Stop these one. So this is where they would have stayed. Mm -hmm. Laundry people. They had to be married to one of the men in order to be alone. Just very interesting. 
You can read this if you feel like it. This is the um, soldiers' barracks, so like, they would have stayed here. So you can stop it and read. So you able to see. So this is where they would have stayed. You can see their bunks and a table over there. Super cool. The glass is making a glint, so you can't really see very well, but really cool. And this little part right here, if you felt like it, you could get married in here. And you can have different events in here. Look at that. This is the back side of that soldier's quarters. Yeah. And then I'm assuming goes over to the laundry. Very cool. This would be the thing that goes in the laundry. So yeah, you could get married in there or have events in there if you felt like it. Interesting. Like I said earlier, these are like a fireplace in here for the cannon. But these have like the actual either I'm, I think we're thinking these are like where they had the cannon set up on. We're not really sure. But like I said, the, these are fireplaces. Probably either keep them warm or to have something to light the cannons. So pretty cool. So this is the dry moat right here. This is where we came in and went into the actual fort itself. Um, but. We're gonna go up this ramp and up into all this stuff up here. Okay, so this mm -hmm. turn your tunnel, right we're going. Just have your phone ready. Oh my goodness, wow. See my eyes, it looks way darker. This camera picks up so much light, I can see. Now, watch out, see my I really want to know what this is. This is the corner that I came around over here and I couldn't see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the ceiling. Before, literally. Watch. It's you for ammunition kicking. Turn this corner. Go over there. Oh, this corner. And then you can come out. And it's, look at, okay. Look how, shh, like, this is not tall at all. I can no, touch the ceiling. It's a little. It's super cool. So this is what this sign is. So basically, so you can stop it if you want. So look at these doors. It's really cool. <laughs> you didn't scare me. Oh, ooh, there's Caleb's hand. This sounds really creepy in there. <laughs> oh, there's a ventilation? Ooh, look into there too. I ain't Caleb. My battery is flashing red, which is really Caleb. annoying. I'm gonna go up here. There's a lot more cool stuff to go over My phone just fell off. So there's another cannon place, and I'm going to stop videoing because my K battery is. This is about the end of the. So super cool. I'll push you over Actually, here. Climb up there and go up. That's really top. awesome. So this is a cannon thing. Four four one, I think. Yeah, that is awesome. You're there reading it. Primer in. Bop. Here you. GPE. So this part, the actual fort is up there. So this part is farther down. Um, I think this is, so I'm not really sure what it is. Here, I'll have to show you. Oh, you can these read. Can shoot seven miles. How? And they projectiles weigh between 824 to 1,046 pounds. Wow. So we're gonna go in. Let's go. So this is inside these buildings. And it's just these long rooms. So I'm not ready. What were these for? I don't even know. Ammunition. Okay, ammunition. So they're just all really long. Yeah, they're for munitions. That's why you still. Well, you can't see in here, but they have the tracks. Oh yeah, the tracks on the ceiling, like in the other so building. So they move the huge bullets and stuff. Yeah. The mortar. Wow, 19 men took ammunition from in these rooms and brought them out to the gun. So wait, how many? Men. How? Took each mortar, a gun attack detachment of 12 men fired the mortar, while 19 men got the ammunition 
and powder <laughs> from the magazine wow. and stuff. If you come down here, the sound is like dead. And two of these guns, each, see how they're covered in? They uh -huh. took two guns from each of these places and shipped them to France in World War One. Oh. And in World War that? In World War Two, she's got a thing up. They took all the um, they took all the guns and used them for scrap. Okay, so here is lunch. Josh. We have it's all of this stuff to put in Back up. Huh? little things. There's the meat, and I have all my decorated, and then you put that in. So, yeah. Okay, so we're done at um, Fort Morgan, and I'm with these girls, and that girl, and we stopped, we were kind of shopping around doing whatever, um, and we saw this place. I'm gonna show you this. They have jerky, they have beef, shark, gator, python, turkey, kangaroo, venison, ostrich, chicken, buffalo, elk, Tuna, swordfish, octopus, and wild boar. We need to like get good one grief. of everything. If it's not too expensive, I think we yeah. should. Local rum cakes, deep fried peanuts, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> gourmet chocolate. But I hope it's good. We're gonna we're gonna wait for the boys and then we're gonna go in. So it should be fun. Scary. Yeah, it's too scary for us to go in. <laughs> okay, so we are going in. Let's go see what we can find. Look at that. It's cricket jerky. Interesting. But like there's these candies hey, with up. crickets in it, with a scorpion in it. I don't know what other these have, but I have buffalo. Oopsie. Buffalo. We have ostrich, boar, and alligator. But these are all mixed with beef over here. Let's see, where's, there's kangaroo right there, which I really want to try. And there's also yak that I really want to try, but there's more, it's it's the kind, so. Oh, did you get the ostrich? Yeah. I was just kind of thinking I would get. So yeah, get all this jerky, it's pretty awesome. Ooh, is there a shark? Okay, so we are back at this 50s place, but we're only here for dessert. And I got this strawberry oh, no, no. Sprite uh, float or thing. And it has ice cream in it. Uh, and so I'm gonna put my Sprite in now. Ready? Watch it over. Wow. Watch it down. So cool. <laughs> look at this look at this cookies and cream milkshake that, that I got. Looks really good. And they brought me half more of Dude, there's no way. That's oh, awesome. It's so half full. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, this is Sam's. Okay, so we're trying our beef jerky that I got. And what other kinds are there? We tried Ben's yak that he had. I don't really care for the shark. It's a little bit too fishy for me, but. It literally tastes like beef jerky. That's okay. I want to try it. Emu. Small board. The shark is my super gross. Wow. Well, yes. Kangaroo. Kangaroo. I want to try that. Anyone need a? You want to try kangaroo? To wash their kangaroo. Sure. Let's try kangaroo. I'm washing. Here's a kangaroo jerky. Yeah. All the same. So. Oh, very. It's a little tangy. The kangaroo is really. Hopefully, none of us are allergic to these animals. Ugh. Yeah, the kangaroo is very chewy. It's yeah. very tough. Kangaroo is very chewy. It's yummy. So you have it's shark. good though. Okay, so I tasted the shark. Now so we have the deep fried peanuts, and you're supposed to eat the shell and all. So I'm gonna try it. See how I like it. I'm gonna get it back. That's interesting that you eat the shell. I know, it's very good. This is, this is just salt. The lady at the store said, eat the shell and all. No, I don't know. Interesting. Okay, so um, after the beef jerky and um, all that, 
We are going to now take a family picture. They go the steps, I'm not sure. Here is everyone heading down to get pictures. Here's our beautiful beach house. I almost just fell in the pool. <laughs> may or may not have. Look at the beautiful beach. Here is everyone getting for their picture. I'm KK Drone. It's kind of funny watching these baboons trying to get all lined up for a picture. Okay, so I forgot to end the vlog again last night. So if you would, if you enjoy this vlog, make sure you give it a like, subscribe. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.